Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this video. Thank you for watching Uncommon Goods. Enjoy the show. Hey, welcome to Uncommon Goods product review. Looking forward to sharing something that I found that is American made and I totally did not expect it. Uh, I thought it would be totally something made in China. So normally on Uncommon Goods, you know, interview small business owners that make their goods in America or services that promote a positive American way of life. Uh, or I review businesses or talk about, um, you know, things in the news, uh, you know, nefarious things that China's doing or other commie type things, you know, commies in America, all the above. But, you know, on a lighter note, I want to talk about a product I found. Uh, and again, I was shocked to find an American made. So uh, I'm talking about my iPhone here and um, I have a little, I'm like super paranoid, like I have a little outer shield. Then I got a case shield and you can see here, it's like kind of bubbling up and you might see that there's like a crack right there. And there's a couple more that's really hard to see um, on camera here. And so I just said, hey, I'm gonna go look for an American made one. Uh, went to Amazon and using the Cultivate Chrome extension, you can also use it on the Brave browser. I think they're somehow like similar uh, source code or something. And uh, lo and behold, went to Amazon, uh, you know, found, looked for an iPhone screen and, you know, Cultivate popped up in the Amazon screen and, you know, Amazon page on a product and said there's American made alternatives. And I was shocked. I was like, yeah, right. Okay. And so sure enough, I found Armor Suit and this just arrived yesterday. This is a uh, military sh shield. They say they're military grade screen protectors for all sorts of devices, laptops, or maybe, uh, what is it, tablets, phones, uh, Apple watches, maybe the Samsung watches. So, you know, you can buy your commie device and at least protect it with an American shield. So this came in the mail uh, and it was like under $13. So it was a good price, assuming it works really well. So here comes the unboxing product reveal. So open it up, it says here, Apple iPhone XR. Uh, you know, case friendly screen shield and case friendly means I have a case around my phone and uh, it's friendly to put on a shield. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to install it right now because it, look, it's got a liquid as you know, here it says armor suit on it. So I don't think you're supposed to drink that. It's got a little uh, cloth here and some instructions and it's, um, you can see it. This is like blue is like, it's kind of hard, I guess. Maybe it's like scraper. And the other side is a cleaning cloth. Oh, what's what's this? Pardon my uh, slightly disheveled look. I just got back from a, a walk, hike, uh, exercise, uh, hit the gym, all the above. So here is the uh, shield thing. It comes wrapped in plastic. And, uh, you know, I might have to rip it open. Uh, screen protector located inside plastic sleeve. So that's good. Um, I'm going to rip this open here if I can. Okay, this shield is very thin, right? So I was expecting something thicker. So like my current shield, peel it off here, is very thick. Look at that, so very, you now you can see how banged up it is. Maybe you can, I don't know. It's got a lot of cracks in it. My friends were making fun of me when they saw that. I go, hey, my phone's not cracked, the protective shield is. So screw them. So you can see here it's bent. That means it's cracked and just right here it's got just... So this thing took a beating, right? So this thing, a lot thinner. Maybe it's more advanced, like kind of like a stealth fighter jet. It's military grade. So uh, the instructions, how do I do this? I have access to a blow dryer, okay. Oh, you know what? These are online instructions. So I'm going to uh, jump on that and uh, do it. All right, so I'm reading the instructions to do the armor suit uh, installation guide for the protective screen for my iPhone. So I took everything off. The old screen is gone. Adios. It's all effed up. And honestly, the instructions are a little bit more intense than I realized. These things make me nervous because, you know, it's I spent $13 on it and it's going on my phone. So here's like the instructions. Like I'm supposed to take this uh, spray stuff and then spray it on the outside. Like even before it's been peeled off, I'm supposed to peel it off. And I'm supposed to spray it on my fingers, and then I peel it off and spray the adhesive side, and then put it on my phone, 
and then take this squeegee thing and squeegee all the, the liquid and bubbles out and let it rest like overnight. So it's a good thing to do at nighttime. So I'm gonna take a stab at this. Uh, can't really record it because I don't have the camera angles going, but uh, stay tuned. All right, I decided to uh, mess with the cam angles a little bit. I just have this webcam that's best on top of a monitor. So I got my little workspace here. It's supposed to be a dust-free environment and I'm gonna give it a stab here. So again, I, uh, I've been wiping this thing pretty clean. I've got my old protective shield over here. And so I got this. Here is, did I lose it? Here's the squeegee, right? The screen and the spray. So, all right. I've also got the instructions on the monitor here. So uh, I've determined this is the top of the screen and it matches Make sure I got this thing right. Do I have the top up? So this is the top. Shake the spray. Spray the non-adhesive side of the military shield. Military. Make sure I got the sink face in the right way. All right. And so here we go. Come on, spray. There we go. It doesn't smell dangerous or anything. All right, so sprayed. And spray my fingertips to eliminate fingerprints. Totally missed. Peel the military shirt off from its bank and evenly spray on the sticky adhesive side until there are no dry spots left. Last time I had my screen put on uh, my phone, I, uh, I just had someone at the Verizon store do it. Okay, so I got this. I'm gonna spray this until there's no dry spots left. Okay, now position the adhesive side face down on the screen, slide it around to match all cutouts and edges. So that's what I'm doing now here. Hi everybody, so it's going right here. Okay, using one hand, hold down the shield, starting from the scanner, hold the squeegee with the other hand and gently slide it across the screen in an outward motion. Okay, boom. Okay, it's actually looking better than I expected. You know, when it comes to DIY stuff, like, you know, oh, you can just do this and that yourself. I call it DIY what I want to do that. Okay, so it's installed. There's no bubbles. There are kind of like a few little, um, like, streaks, but those should go away. Um, the best part is if you made a mistake, simply peel it off and redo it. But, you know, I always freak out, like, when I make a mistake. No mistakes. All right, so one thing I gotta say, this, this thing is thinner than my old screen. As you saw earlier, this thing was really thick. I mean, it was strong, but um, so far this is, this is going pretty well. It just needs to dry. All right, so it's installed out with the old screen. It's all banged up and falling apart. I've got the new one on here. So I got to give it overall pretty thumbs up. Uh, there are some bubbles in there. You might be able to see it, but I, I attribute that to operator error. You know, I'm not really into putting on these screens on my iPhone. I always make somebody else do it. Uh, so you can buy this uh, suit armor um, on Amazon, or you can go directly to the website. I've got links uh, in the product description. Again, always try and find an American-made alternative. Can you imagine that? An American-made is the alternative. Uh, for any goods you buy, you can do that again via the Cultivate extension. Uh, it's a Chrome extension or Brave. So whenever you shop at Amazon, you search on something. That's how I found suit armor. Uh, it'll say, you know, you look for something. It'll say made in China. And then here's like 113 American made alternatives. It makes life a lot easier when you're looking for uncommy goods. Uh, again, please hit like, subscribe for this video. Uh, go to uncommygoods.com and check out some of the previous podcasts I've done. And uh, if you're on Apple, uh, give it a five-star rating and review. And shoot me an email at hello at Uncommy Goods. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you end up buying one of these or looking for other American-made alternatives uh, to replace things uh, as you need. And remember, just buy Uncommy, support American-made. Let's el eliminate that complicated supply chain. The longer that supply chain is, the easier it is to disrupt and causes problems for us. Look at right now, there's supply chain strain for gas, and gas is going up a lot. Anyway, 
I'm going to go off on that. Again, like, subscribe, give it a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts. Uh, Come to our website, check out the previous episodes or maybe an occasional article I write. Thank you for supporting Uncommy Goods. Uh, I'll see you next time.